Um, how fast can they strike? Very fast. Very fast. Starting in three, two, one, go! <laughs> Hello! Ha! It's off in the morning, friends and family. You're probably wondering, where did he get that really incredible Aloha shirt? I'll tell you. Noah Sage and I traveled to Iowa so that I could share my testimony at Iron Ridge Church. We had a long layover in Phoenix, got a nice tour of the airport there. By the way, if you want a little airport tip, make sure you bring yourself an empty water bottle so you can fill it up and have plenty of water at the airport. Also, make sure to do something like this because it's very important when you're traveling. Find a nice quiet place where you can get some exercise in. It's good for you. you gotta move your body. You're gonna be sitting on a plane a long time. Right? While we were in Iowa, we took some time to meet up with one of my great friends and do some herping and this is the story of all the animals that we found while we were there. I'm not going to tell you what we found right now because I'd be ruining it for you and want to watch the whole thing. And you're going to want to stick around to the end of the video to a very special and important message that my friend has to give to you. So, oh, you know, his face is probably on the thumbnail. Anyway, so you know who my friend is. I don't know why I'm being so mysterious. I digress. Let's move along. There you go. He's in the Mississippi. We are in Idaho. Oh, I'm already talking. I already mentioned that in the intro. Now that we're in Idaho, it's still green, it's still beautiful and green. We have jumped in the Mississippi River. We had start, start over to Iowa. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 Only have 50 states. We have to have two to start with an I and end in an A. That's, exactly. not, that's yeah, cheating. What, what's up with that? <laughs> we've already jumped in the Mississippi River. We've gone to visitor center. We've eaten pizza. We. Recorded a podcast last night, Fireside Podcast. I'll put a link down in the description. You guys want to go check it out. And we are now on our way to meet <laughs> the Jew. Thank you. And we're going to hopefully find some herps. You guys know Marlon already if you've watched Les Wednesday's video. And we haven't recorded that video yet as we're talking to you here. But we're praying for a very a small miracle there. Just comment down below. Let us know if you... You witnessed that small miracle at Marlin's place or not. Continue on with us to meet Mr. Kaufman. And on this beautifully thunderstormy Iowa day, we are going to hopefully find some cool reptiles for you to check out. And that would be great. Uh, well, we just left Iowa. Now we're in Minnesota, so. One of these days I'm gonna get the state I'm in correct. <laughs> <laughs> you said right, it's so warm out here. <laughs> You weren't recording. It's fine. I don't mind being on camera. That's the benefit about recording videos. We're gonna show this when you're in high school, son. Oh, wow, you know what? It's part of Minnesota right now. It feels like windward side of any of the Hawaiian Islands. It is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous, and feels so nice on the skin. <laughs> Oh, that was a, dude, that thing is huge. That's a massive bullfrog. First find of the day, right here. Perfect shape, elusive. You do not find these everywhere. Hurry up, Dave, we're gonna find all the good stuff without you. Yeah, we're gonna find a rattlesnake without you. Say we lift up a rock and a rattlesnake right under that rock, ready to strike. And I see the snake. In the, it's all coiled up, ready to strike. What do I do? Do um, I slowly back away? Tell it to calm down. <laughs> Can always count on some quality entertainment from Noah Sage. There's some kind of yeti in the bushes over there. Yeah, he's probably a big one too. I think we should go investigate. Judging by the size of the trees that are moving, he's got to be large. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, it's... <laughs> Did you get bigger? <laughs> <laughs> so this, this, this weather is like... the This weather is like just terrible. However, you want a fox snake? Yes, I want a fox snake. Come with me. Any day with a snake, remember, it gets a gold star. And do you know what kind of turtle this is? Mm. No. Okay, so when you want to see where a place is in the world, you look at a... Map? 
That's exactly right. Map turtle. That is a northern map turtle, and she is in the process of laying her eggs. Walked that's, right by it. That's why you need me with you. <laughs> so this is where the fox snakes hang out, and you have to look in between all the cracks until you see a snake in there. However, this weather is probably going to keep them pretty far underground, but we can look. So we may go look for the timbers and then come back later on today. Timber! Ready? <laughs> right through there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that it takes like something like Smells fantastic and that's that's a gold star for the day already. Oh you got him. <laughs> Right, so. Oh, epic. He's biting that thing. Hey, that's epic. my hand. And here we have wild Brian Cusco in his element with a garter snake. That is quite Is that thing to toothless? Toothless? Yeah, I no, don't see teeth. They have, they have toothless. Yeah, super toothless. Here, let's, let's see how I like to put the, put the toothlessness on your nose. That's actually oh. a really pretty This one. is a gorgeous one. Yeah. Look at the belly on that. Nice size. Yeah. That, that green, yeah. green color. This is awesome. I did find it, but I'm giving this one to your dad. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. You're yeah. such a nice guy. I am. I am a nice guy. I taught you well. <laughs> <laughs> this little dude just gurges some frog juice out of his face. So we're going to put him back, but I mean, it's a good sign. We got a snake, and it's only been like 30 seconds. That is how good I am. This one actually doesn't have as much moss on his back, so you get to see how pretty they actually are. So that is another map turtle. A northern or a common map turtle. I came here prepared to give you like all kinds of crap just as per my natural mm. state, but it's already been a huge success. You ask and I deliver. And that's the way it works. Okay, Wait, well, I've got more asking for the day. You ever heard of the song? It's an old jazz standard. It's called The Jew from Minnesota. How's it go? What's your favorite Bible verse? We've been leaving verses on the videos. Proverbs 17, 28. Even a fool when he holds his peace, is counted wise. You didn't know I knew the Bible, did you? Oh, I did. That's why I knew I could ask you. <laughs> How could you be frozen chosen if you didn't know the word? <laughs> you know, in the last six months, my top two performing videos, guess whose face was on the thumbnail? Brian Barczyk. Joe Atchison. Oh, my God. It's Joe Atchison, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. Speaking all the letters, Joe Atchison, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing? I'm putting an extra constant in there every time. I'm just going to go with it. That's good enough. JSA Close Reptiles. Enough. JSA Lights. Check them out. Thank here, you. This thing right here. Right there. <laughs> if I had a little bit more time, I would have got uh, Troy from Best Dressed. Because oh. he's just in Fort Dodge. Dang. So that wouldn't have been too far for him to come here, you know, or meet up with us. Especially if you went in a tuxedo, that would have been <laughs> best. Hoping for a bullfrog. Hoping for a bullfrog. Hoping for a bull bullfrog. What happened, Joe? I'm getting peed on. Uh-huh. That thing is massive. Oh, what happened, Noah? You got something too? Yeah. Look at that. Garden. Oh, all right. Noah got his first solo catch. Yeah. Of the trip. And I doubt it will be the last. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know that we already didn't you know today. Yep, he's on the Hope he can swim. Oh, they can definitely swim. So, I bet you didn't know that there's cactuses in Minnesota. That's prickly pear. What are you doing out here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a quick Professor Dave here real quick. So, feel this plant, Noah. It feels almost like my pillow. <laughs> or or toilet paper. Could be used for toilet paper. Stop saying toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Very professor like. Uh sorry. It's um called mullen and it's very soft. And this one is spider wart. Comment below if you think that that's spider wart or a different kind of wart. I bet you didn't know that Dave knew so much about plants, and it's because I bet you didn't know this about Dave either. 
he's Native American. Technically, I was born in Minnesota. Gee, thanks, Professor Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> and now here's something we hope you really like. All right, so all these rocks up here, you got to flip every single one of them. That's pretty cool that turtles here in Minnesota are like fence lizards in California. All right, Dave, we flipped every single rock. So this is Minnesota's prettiest non-skink lizard. Look at that cute little dude. Will he bite me? Probably. Check it out. Bonk. Oh man, he's got a powerful bite for us. Yeah? For something that size. It's yeah. really powerful. Oh my gosh, focus please, camera. <laughs> All I want Keep is biting him until it focuses. <laughs> if this thing was How does like, it feel? Does it feel like a little kiss or does it? Uh, kind of tickles. Kind of tickles. Well, let's see what happens when we tickle him back. <laughs> uh, All right, well you hang on to him there. This is a prairie race runner. And these are related to all of the whiptails and race runners in the American Southwest. And this is one of three lizards that we have in Minnesota. And, and this, this is, is the only Noah Sage. <laughs> in Minnesota. I believe there's one in Wisconsin. Gotta support his body. There you go. And you take him because he, he, he now owns you. <laughs> hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know the fact that Animals love biting me for some reason. <laughs> that, is that, that is a fact. proven fact. And that's all I know. He's not going to let go, is he? And he now owns you. <laughs> well, 25 cents, then a higher than we are. This weather might not be good for finding a bunch of snakes, but sure is good for lighting. Snake! Right when I say it's not good for snakes, there it is. Another garter snake. Oh yeah. Man, they're quick. They are quick. That's my shoot. That's my foot. Bye bye. Northern water snake. Not too shab of a grab. He's a little bit drab, but he's still fab. <laughs> <laughs> so usually they're much more red. Did he bite you yet? No. Oh, they, you, you got lucky. And look at the belly though. They usually have these half moon crescents. This guy has really faded half moon crescents. But look at this. This is the nicest water snake I've ever seen here. Usually they're biting you. They've got this anticoagulant in their saliva, which just makes you bleed and bleed. Well, here's gonna be the real test. He's actually chill over it's my personality. We're gonna hand him to Noah. And All right. We're gonna see what well, happens. Well, look, I mean. No, but Noah's not holding him yet. All right, Noah, take the snake. This might be the one time I don't get it. Anyone else want to hold them? Really cool. Did he open his mouth again? Oh. Should we put him in a cab and send him back to the lab? <laughs> and then 
send him the tab. Oh wait, here's one. <laughs> look, look what I got. I got another one. And this one is just as drab as the other one, but that other one was super chill. This one is so super chill as well. All right, for real, buddy, get out of here. <laughs> they'll take that tail and they'll anchor it around one of these rocks like that so they don't get swept away in the current. Oh. And then when a fish comes, they're anchored and the fish will come and they'll just be like, yep. One of the most important parts of herping. Oh, yeah, you just like me. Lunch. Ah, thank you, sir. Isn't this awesome down here? Yeah, it is. Really, really, really nice. Hi. So if it wasn't for you, then <laughs> I would be at home doing my job yeah, well. correctly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you, you left you left some right there, but you left some. Noah, you may think that's funny, but it's not. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Lunch was mm. excellent. We're getting back at it. We're gonna stop at this one spot here on the road, flip some rocks, and then from here, we're going up the bluffs, hopefully to find timber rattlesnakes. Yes. Thank you, sir. I'm not worried. Are you focusing out my window or on me? Yes. Rock flipping. Joe's over there. Dave's over there. And you see that little squiggly sign? That means that there's snakes up here. It's Colubrid size. Snake, but in the right. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of rocks. No snakes, but I still smell that first garter. Ah. I don't know if this has already been picked through or not, but. No milk snakes, but look at how beautiful and black this garter is. That's a, that's a beauty right there. And now I smell just like I did uh, at the beginning of this trip. Well, boys, I think it's time we move on. Have we found a milk snake yet? Yes or no? No. Then we keep flipping. I gotta say, I am really glad that that garter snake musked me and I wiped it in my hair and on my face because I forgot to put on deodorant again. We're not giving up. We are taking an extended break. Trying is the first step towards failure. Remember that as you grow and learn. Stop pretending to be a wise man. <laughs> You are beautiful. Look at that. Woo! This is the uh, first one I've ever seen off the bluffs crossing yes. a road. Wow. Wow. Cool. <laughs> how beautiful is that? I'll tell you how beautiful it is. We don't even have to hike a single mountain. <laughs> and I was not looking forward to hiking a single mountain for this. Very fast. That thing's gorgeous. Uh, that is one of the prettiest ones I've ever seen in Minnesota. I mean, usually we don't get those red stripes like that down its is back. That, that's more like a cane break. That's more cane yeah. breaky, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why did the rattlesnake cross the road? What these snakes will do is they'll hibernate on the bluff, they'll stay up on the bluffs, and then about this time of year, they'll come off of those bluffs, but the gravid females will stay up on the bluffs. And all the other snakes, the females that aren't gravid, the males 
will come off of those bluffs and come into the forest valleys like this and spend the summer in the cooler forest valleys. And that's what this guy is doing. He's coming off of this bluff and he's heading towards those cooler forest valleys right now. And we just happen to be in the right place at the right time to see him cross the road. Just take him for a little there walk. Go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. go. We'll just walk with him. There you go. So watch what will happen, Noah. Now that he's in the grass, boom. Goodbye. Out of there. He's very quick in that grass. All right, you guys go climb a bluff, let me know what you find. I've already uh, <laughs> found my timber for the day. <laughs> I'm climbing a bluff. You guys made it here. Good job. Way to watch the video. Uh, before we get out of here, what was that? If you want to check out my testimony, there's a link down in the description. The whole thing was recorded at the church that Sunday, and there's a link down below if you'd like to watch the service. I'd like to thank a few people, Joe Marie, Felix, David, Pastor Ray, Johnny White Sox, Storm, Roger, Tim, Brian and Angela, Trevor and Angela, all the kiddos. I'm sure I'm leaving some names out, but the entire congregation of Iron Ridge Church. Of course, Freedom Breeder for always supporting us in every, all of our endeavors, and all you folks that support us on Patreon, can't thank you enough. A special thank you to Larry and Cindy for all your hospitality, letting Noah Sage drive his first tractor, the nearly endless ice cream so awesome to meet you guys and a very very special thank you to marlon and terry for being exceptional beacons of god's love uh man it's really just setting our foundation stronger and stronger so we can continue to move forward and uh, pass blessings on to others as as we move forward in this in this journey that we've been on and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i know i told you if you made it this far you'd be getting a very important message from mr kaufman so uh before you see that you guys take care of yourselves take care of each other Thank you much for turning into our videos. And, uh, man, I'm just all good with words this morning. Aren't you I? don't have uh, to be smart. <laughs> you guys, t take it easy. See you on the next video. Aloha. And this is, I don't know, what I look when I don't have a camera in my face. I look pretty crunchy. <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Wait, 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 wait. What was it? What, hold on. I was, uh, what, is that? what is that called? This is what I look like. You already said So, that. wait a minute. No, quick, 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 quick. For those of you wondering, I do hurt for fun. I am not filming this. That's why I look like crap. I didn't do my, well, I didn't brush my hair, didn't shave, didn't do anything. I am still working on the Africa video, so I just came down here to meet Brian, have a little bit of fun, show him some really cool Minnesota snakes, and uh, I look like crap, and I don't care. Let's go herping. <laughs> and that's his third take of saying the same thing. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. So I bet you guys are all wondering. <laughs>